I'm sitting here live with the number one cornerback in the country, five star on everybody's recruiting, but definitely five star on three, Mr. Naeem Alford. And we're about to get into it on the five star flex. Welcome to the five star flex. I'm your host, Philip Dukes. And as always, the five star flex, where being a five star isn't just a ranking, it's a mentality. I'm here with one of the most highly sought after defensive backs in a long time, a five star. Some people say you may be the best cornerback in the past 10 years, and that's Naeem Offer. Naeem, what's going on, bro? What's good, man? Man, cool. And when you hear people say that you probably could be one of the best cornerback prospects of the past few years, how does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel good, but I still got to work for it because it's a lot right. of it's way more people than me. It's a million people in this world who want it, the same as me. When I right. get to college, it's just, it's just basically a whole bunch of me's. Right. So let's talk about your upbringing. Like, how was it growing up? Where you from? First of all, tell us where you from, and tell us what it was like growing up there. Uh, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. So right where I'm at right now, uh, my dad he the one that put me on that football stuff when I was like four years old. He just threw me out there no technique. Uh, I went out there with my <laughs> uncle, and I'm playing with older guys. And uh, my first time playing was actually in the championship game. I ain't had no practice no nothing. First time I gave up play, you know, my uncle had, he could, he had, uh, bust me. He was like, why you missed that tackle? I'm like, <laughs> I'm confused. I don't even know how football go. I'm just out right. there. Shortest man out there. Cause I'm playing with older guys. One thing about me, I never played like people with my age. I only did like one time. Right. But every time I always had to play like with older guys, I never played people my age until my last year in the little league, which was okay. where you, a lot of people don't know that, but I'm a baseball guy. What position in baseball? Shortstop, uh, outfield, pitcher. I played everything. So you really like you could really throw it, throw it. Yeah, I had a one. All right, so now you take me through like your high school career. Like I think you started out at a different school. Like just walk us through your your high school career, how that came about. I started off at Hookman High School. Um, okay. First year, I could have went anywhere else, but I wanted to stay because my brother wasn't gonna go nowhere. He lured. That's one thing about him. He ain't gonna go nowhere. So uh, I started off with him my first year. We had a rough little season. I started off at safety, and I played a couple. I played a little receiver. Um, as I played receiver, like I wasn't really feeling it like that. I knew receiver wasn't gonna be my. Everybody thought I was gonna be a receiver, but I knew receiver wasn't gonna be my thing. Think about it, you long, lanky, physical. So I played safety, cause in little league I played safety. I played linebacker a little bit, but like I was always like a physical type guy. So mm -hmm. um, I played. I started off at safety, and then I moved the corner when we had played Huey Trustville because that's when they had, uh, um, what's his name, Amari Kelly? They had mm -hmm. Amari Kelly, yeah. Um, nobody can guard him. So I guess out of my natural ability, he put me on Amari Kelly. And then my coach seen I had something going for myself. And then I wasn't at quarterback around this time. So um, it hit a couple of weeks. We played Homewood. It's about at the end of the season. I quarterback, he go down, he get hurt. Okay. I go, I go to quarterback. Right. And, I score a touchdown off a run play. Everybody think I'm Lamar at this moment. Uh, <laughs> you know how that goes. So, uh, yeah, I did that. And then we played the next week. We ended up playing Chelsea, which was a good team. That was a good team. I'm not going to lie. Like, that was a real good team. But that game was a bro – that was my brother game. It was like me and Makasho a little bit because I was that quarterback. All I was doing was hitting the ball off. But, like, they didn't expect for me to throw the ball. So, we, I was just hitting the ball off to Makai the whole game. Right. And I messed around, did a, a fake Makai. I did a pump fake bubble. Mm. In the speech. When I said I let that thing go, I mean, I threw, that, threw that thing like 60 yards. You can go look on the really? field. You can look on the field. I threw that thing 60 yards, threw a ball, touched down. I'm talking about, wow. <laughs> Crowd turned. They surprised, man. They surprised. I'm just right. throwing I'm like, hey, they must not forget. I used to play QB. Right. They, like, yeah, they don't know. Do your homework. Yeah, they, don't, they don't know. And I'm like, yeah. I ain't going to lie. We had a good QB, but like if I had been started off at QB, it would help us out a lot. Right. And I'm uh, like, because I played QB at the end, we actually started winning then. I mean, I ain't gonna right. say that we started winning, but like we was putting up points. I mean, it ain't, I mean, you gotta call a spade a spade. If you if you was handling that pill the right way and y'all started yeah. putting up points, you know, like, we was putting up points. I'm like, I'm like, we should have been did this, we would have been in the playoffs. We did this. <laughs> and I'm talking about. Man, let, matter of fact, let's talk about your brother, man. Tell the people who your brother is and, and what he did last year. Uh, my brother Makai Hughes, he go to Tulane. Um, 
he was actually the best running back in his conference. Uh, he made All American freshman of the year. Um, right. So he was hurt his freshman coming in. His freshman, he was hurt. Uh, he had hurt his knee, and um, he had to sit out the whole year. He came back. He had looked through the playbook. He studied the playbook, and then came out this year and just dominated. It wasn't even fair. So yeah. that put him all the way on top of the map. Not everybody, every school in the country want him, but he he's so loyal. He ain't gonna go nowhere. He so, loyal. He, so, he, he plays for Tulane right now. Y'all know Tulane a good school. So right, Tulane. First of all, Tulane played great football. And I know for a fact, like for guys like that, like because I, you know, I'm, I hear a lot of conversations. Yeah. He one of the ones he on the radar. Like, oh, we need to get him in our program. And you saying that he loyal? Yeah, but what's funny though in high school they slipped on him. I guess they slipped him because the school we came from we came from high school and we ain't really had no recruits. Like we always had like that one big guy, but we ain't had like no big recruit. Like the right. no recruits really used to come by. It will probably just be Mississippi State or something like that. That'd be probably right. the biggest recruit. But they ain't never used to be nobody big for real. To like right. Coach Smith came in. And he just, you know, I guess he had plugs, you know, because he played, he said he played for Alabama, played punter. So he had a lot of plugs and a lot of connections to every college. And, you know, you know how that go when you got connections. Man. I'm just looking at, I'm looking at my brother just start racking his office up his junior year. It's the end of his junior year. I'm like, Snap. But he didn't get the schools he wanted, though. His okay. dream school, don't nobody know, but his dream school was Arbor. He wanted to go to Arbor. Oh, wow. But, yeah. Yeah. Man. You, you oh, you know what? Different. That's crazy because I used to run into Pops down there when I was at Auburn. Yeah. I used to run into Pops down there. Pops super cool too, man. Shout out to your dad too, bro. For yeah. sure. Most nah, so I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I figured like a, for a long time, everybody really thought you was going to Auburn. Like, you know, they thought it was gonna be Auburn or You feel me? Yeah. What what, what I, made Ohio State just jump to the front? Man, it was just the best fit for me. Like, at the end of the day, you got to look at your career and your future at the end of the day. You got to look at the resources they have. They had real good resources. Uh, a lot of stuff that they did, they scheme fit me. Um, the coach that offered me, they got to think about this. A lot of people don't – you don't see nobody in Alabama with Ohio State offer. Right. Like, I don't know if you noticed, it's probably about three people who got right. Ohio State. a lot. Yeah, they not going to just offer anybody. They going to they gonna offer you. They going to offer – like, they going to offer a dog. So, um. You know, Coach Coach Walton. That's that's one of the best cornerback coaches to come through. Everybody know that. Yeah, so I, yeah. That, ain't, that ain't that ain't no argument. We all know like he got proof, proof on the pudding. Like I'm talking about, he got every resume. He can pull up anything. If you need right. something, he's gonna show you. Right. That, that man. That's that's a that's a fact. That man. Now, that, now, he, he, facts, now. Walton's super well respected in Atlanta too. Like in the A. Like you say that name. If he come OG, down here, OG, say OG Walt. You already know. Hey, 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 I ain't want to blow his cover, but yeah, like it, it, like he really liked that, you know what I'm saying? So I really like thought it. that was a, I thought that was a good fit for you too, like with your personality. I thought y'all was gonna mess with. Well. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna lie, me and him, we two goofs, goofballs. <laughs> right now, uh, hey, so look, when it comes down to like your recruitment, like, are you planning on taking any other officials, or are you just locked in? It's done. As far as right now, just right now, I'm locked in right now, but uh. And I'm gonna still give some colleges a chance though, like, but it ain't finna be how it used to be when I had an open recruit. It was just open. Right. So anybody who just come in, my eyes actually like open to a couple more schools because I ain't finna just completely just shut it down. Right. Like, I know it's a lot of more schools still trying to show me love. Like some schools, like, I'm surprised then and not surprised that, like some schools still showing me love. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of them still be texting me right now. They be they be real. They be like, I'm still gonna recruit you. Like, who you think? Like, out of the top schools that still like holler at you, like who holler at you the most right now? Like that you like, all right, I appreciate that, coach. I'm committed, but I still kind of appreciate you hitting me. Oh, it's, it's a good. It's about it's about a good three four about three four. Uh, shoot, Oregon still be hitting me up. Um, right. Tennessee still be hitting me up. Uh. Um, they must still be hitting me up. Arvin still be hitting me up. Uh, who else be hitting me up? Florida be trying to hit me up. Oh, I can't forget about Georgia. I ain't gonna lie. I can't got a little close with Georgia. I'm going to tell you right now. It got a little close with Georgia. Right. Mm, see, that's something people don't know. Everybody was thinking Alabama, Auburn, maybe Ohio State, but they're not realizing that you had really kind of developed a relationship with Georgia. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Them, them boys, they came to see me. They whole stuff. Army did the same thing. They whole stuff. Oregon came. Man, when I say Lance, so cool, man. Coach Lamb, 
Right. Oregon, I, I got to get up there. I got to get up there. Like, that's just out of all respect towards the man. Like, he, he was telling me straight fact. He was, like, being real with me, keeping it real. He was like, I don't want you to just come to Oregon. He was like, go somewhere where it's going to fit you in. Right. Like, you know, I mean, that, lot, I think, you I know how a lot of colleges be. They yeah, it means a lot when the coach really keep it a buck with you. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, a lot of coaches they're gonna sugarcoat with you. Right. You know how that be. And I, like, right. I'm, I'm too old for that. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't dumb. Like, I know how this go already. I yeah, didn't see my brother do the process already. Watching him do the whole thing. Like when you got like, see, like yo, yo, your structure set up real well. Like pops involved, moms involved, everybody educated, got good mindsets. Then your brother had just went through it. And so y'all know recruiting talk when you hear it versus what's real. And you got to think, yo, brother, like, you know, I know it was people like, you know what I'm saying, hollering at him, and he just ain't, he blocking it out. So I know that you kind of got some, a similar mindset that is like, if you're not coming real, you don't got a chance with me in the first place. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, we we all got goals. But it ain't just yeah. me. Like, uh, it really run in the family for real, for real. All of us, they know how the prices go. My cousins, both of my cousins. Then somebody else that's coming up is my little brother. He gonna be he gonna be up next too. Wait, wait, how is he now? He class twenty six. His name Jalen Jalen Nelson. Jalen Nelson. That's he what underrated he's right now. He located. He actually located in Georgia. For real? Yeah, I'm trying to get come to Paul. Ah, uh, in the past yeah. four years, listen now. Now let's say the past year. Name one player that you felt like. All right, I'm gonna have to bring my A game today. I'm gonna be honest with you. It wasn't really with nobody, but I can say this though. Clarence though from from Pleasant Grove, uh, he kind of he kind of tricked me a little bit. <laughs> I was watching film. Like, I remember this dude from my sophomore year, but I wasn't really like in my head. I'm like, I'm straight. I ain't worried about him. But I don't know what he did this off season. But he been putting in that work. You can tell the difference from his sophomore year to like junior year. Like he did. he took that leap. That boy, that boy developed like man. Like, he was SJ best receiver. But, like, it was kind of different with me, though. I ain't going to say it was hard to guard him. I mean, it was a it was a good game with him. He was, you know what I'm saying? I was on him, but he was on me. Like, he just, it came down to the last play. And then that's when he had won that rep. He won that last rep. It ended up being, like, a really good competition, which I respect you for even saying that because a lot of times people don't shine light, you know what I'm saying, when it's a good mm -hmm. competition. But you saying that, that show a, a level of humility. I like that. It was like one minute left on the clock. I went straight on kickoff, ran down the field, made the tackle, and then had to come back and stop them. We had stopped them. It was like fourth down. Then that's when he did the double move. I went to sleep on him. I ain't think that's going to throw the ball to him, man. They, he got me with the double move, and I peeked my eyes in the backfield. Boom. He, he did a good little double move. He had got me. I was just like, well, it's football. What what you feel like you learned the most from that game? Staying locked in. The game don't don't let don't let just because I scored that touchdown, don't mean the game was over. The game ain't over till you see zero seconds on the clock. Right. And it it just it taught me a big thing, and it basically taught me a lesson of they don't care who you is, they gonna try you. They know your status because they trying to do the same thing you trying to. They trying to get officers like you. Nah, right. you're right. Hey, and do you ever talk? I'm not, I'm gonna ask you like. At Ohio State right now, y'all got the number one and the number two cornerback committed, you and Devin Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Have you talked to Devin at all? Uh, we ticks. We ticks. Uh, he looking forward to building a good relationship with me, but he also looking forward to compete. Not like that, though. I ain't going to lie. I like – because I ain't going to – that's one thing I can't say about Ohio State. Uh, me committing was actually a good thing because uh, when I get there, I'm ready to compete. I don't care. Like, you my teammate, but, like, I'm competing for a spot. Right. But also – one on ones gonna be fun every day. Practice gonna be fun though, cause like everybody you got around you wanted just like you. What what was what was Ryan Day, head coach Ryan Day? What was his message to you that really just made you feel like at the end, like all right, this is where I need to be? He knew he knew what the best fit for me was. Uh, I feel like when I went up there, he had everything set up just for me, cause I met him the first like the first day on Saturday. I came and saw, him, but then. I had another meeting with him early in the morning, and we were just having good conversation. He was just checking down all the boxes that I had questions to ask him about. And I was asking him, how can he use me? How can he do this? You know, be a priority to him. He was just, he was answering all the questions for me. And then 
I looked at my mom, I looked at my, my dad, and, and I was like, he checked y'all box, and they was like, yeah, they was, they was with it, so. It was, it was go time. Hey, it was go time, man. Uh, man, nah, hey, man, I appreciate it. Where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, You can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Instagram. It's my, my name, Naeem Alford, or on Twitter, Alford Naeem. I'll be on Snapchat, CEO underscore Naeem. All right, now, man, thank you so much, man. I know it, it took us a while to get it done, but we got it done, man. And tell Pop, I said I appreciate it. Man, I got you. All right, sir. So.